Let's go. To get out there. You're, and win uh, those you're arguing some really good points for uh, why to go to film school versus versus the why not to go to film school, right? True, right? You know, and and I'm an advocate of both. Like I love the I love the people who take the journey. Who you know, w like like yourself, right? Like you went out and you know you just met people, you networked, you went from Canada to here, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, it's all about who you know, but. Where I took it, I mean, I know. Can I ask you how much? Sorry, uh, how yeah. much was the tuition? Tuition, um, I think forty thousand something semester. In three years. Yeah. So one hundred and twenty k. Yeah. So I'm looking at it like, would I would I want to make shorts in the film school mm -hmm. with the gear and given five thousand, or would I want to take one hundred twenty thousand and maybe go make three larger production kind of a or maybe even a small feature type. You know, I'm looking at the investment of the film school True. versus, you know. Your education. Yeah, you know. going on a set maybe as a PA for one or two years, you know, just yeah. learning the ropes a little bit. Either way, uh, it has its, uh, you know, advances. I mean, I, uh, film school also helps you build your contacts. You know, sometimes, like, that's why people join, f join fraternities because they become, you know, a chapter or whatever later on in life. And, you know, you know somebody who works high up in the company because you guys were the same. I don't know. Same thing with film school, you know, all these people you work with, all these, uh, their, their connections that you have for the future. And Chapman actually does something interesting. They actually started a film fund using tuition money, <laughs> which sounds like a scheme, but it's not because what they do is they actually ends up benefiting the alumni is because the way their film fund is accessed is we have to have a Chapman director, you know, 50% have to be Chapman crew, you know, uh, uh, that are looking for work. And they finance like a million dollar projects, you know, the, uh, feature films. Have you been involved in any of those? No, um, I saw like there's there. I saw a couple of their projects. They got off the ground. Um, they're still figuring it out. And uh, but I like the idea of of that as well. You know, that's another benefit towards like, OK, I went and got this education, but they're not helping me find work or, you know, they do help you find work or they help bring the work to you. You know, so it's an interesting concept for sure. So there is there is benefits to both sides but um yeah I, um but after doing that um i really got a chance to like be hands-on because they don't uh from what i heard about like usc and you know maybe i'm wrong now but some only certain people got a chance to do the short film most people kind of had to just study film in theory you know like out of the book uh chapman you know like i said every person got a chance to make a short film and mm. be thrown into it mm. And it's better that you fail at your short film than you do like you got an opportunity to do yeah, a feature absolutely. and you really didn't know yeah. what to do. So um, it was it was very good learning experience for me. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You're the first person who kind of really broke it down for me. Mm -hmm. So I went the route non-film school. Uh, there was a competition for a TV commercial, grand prize. Wrote it, produced it, directed, shot it. This is when the red one came out. Yeah. So we shot on the red one with the red. Remember, they even had the red lenses. The yeah. The primes. The I red remember primes. We, we got to shoot with the red in film school. And I was like, ah, this thing's awesome. <laughs> I know. Uh, and then you look at it now and you're like, Jesus, how did we ever shoot on this <laughs> thing? I was like, red's not cool anymore, guys. <laughs> yeah. I shot my film on a red dragon. And people were like, oh, red dragon. Red dragon. It's all about Alexa. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I we, we're not even. that. That's, yeah. a, that's a debate with a DP here in uh, a later episode. But. Yeah, I don't understand it. But uh, look, um, so you're finishing. <coughs> sorry, you're finishing up film school. Yeah, uh, it was really interesting to hear this uh, process because I, I didn't go through it. So I actually now when you're talking about cha like I think film school is really about what film school you choose then, uh, you know, because like you were saying, USC might there are students that probably didn't even get a chance to make a short. Yeah. But you got you did seven in your senior year. Yeah, and that's because, like I said, you're supposed to do one in the fall. Yeah, but even know, of, of, like of a thesis. Uh, okay, so know? even two is better than being in a USC for four years and not do doing zero. Yeah. So you got quite a bit of on 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 set experience. You had on set experience from being a child actor, so you kind of were familiar with what a little is bit, happening yeah. a little bit. I mean, I know with the actors, it's like you're in the trailer and then you get brought up when you're kind of yeah. ready to be. But uh, we wander arounding. We ever like wandering, wandering around the set and just kind of exploring how yeah. all of that works. I always wanted to learn, and that's like that was the the thing that uh, I wanted to get the most out of it. And even though they told me that you know you can only do two theses, they were they were short on producers because the Korean producing 
major didn't have enough students to match with the directors. So there's directors without so producers. Which, one? which which Korean did you say? Um, uh, Chapman. There's uh, a Korean. No, no, no. Sorry, the uh, the creative producing major didn't have enough people. Oh, I thought to you match said with the directing like, majors. Wow, yeah, really? that were doing their <laughs> theses. So they didn't have enough to match. So they were asking what other producers are willing, to, what other people are willing to do another thesis film, mm. and most of them looked at it as like your professor asking you, Hey, how many people want to write another final paper? You know, like you've got one 30 page paper to write. Like we need people, you know, who wants to volunteer for extra credit and do, you know, three more. And people were like, Oh, I don't want to do that. Like that's how they were looking at it. And I was like, well, I want to jump on a couple more films if I can. And yeah, it took up all my time and mm -hmm. I had no time to party or, you know, I had barely enough time to balance football and producing short films, but it was so worth it. Were you ever, um, wondering throughout the school uh, did i pick right or were you always positive and 100 percent convinced that this is the route you're going to go was there any moment ever where you're like hmm i don't know if i want to do this i was very positive i always i'm always optimistic and i you know even though i wanted to like i wanted to be a director mm -hmm. and you know i mean we all have that dream i i thought well learning how to be a producer i will be able to understand better and create better opportunities for myself and for other people um, if I stick to this. 